So to restrict my search area in a downward trajectory, I can highlight my repeating group, click on, oh, I can double click on it, and under relations, there are no relations. And I want to add a relation, and I want to reference actually my repeating group. But I can't because it's grayed out. So if I highlight it and switch current instance to the last found, it's no longer grayed out. So what I'm saying is relative to the last found instance of my repeating group, I want to look below the bottom. And this is kind of easy to take a quick look at how this works. So I'm going to go ahead and match my document. And we still have a problem, but let's see if we're at least looking from the top to the bottom on our document. So the first instance is there, the second instance is there, and look at the gray search area. It's looking below the bottom of the last found instance. Once again, we're looking below the bottom of the last found instance, and again. So this is working great until we get here where we didn't find the part number, but the software again is trying to make fulfill the search request so it found a string the best it could, but it's not linked to any keyword. So let's make these two elements conditionally linked. Now there was a time where you would have to do that with Flexi Layout Language, but we can just go ahead and go into this character string element, and we've got a GUI interface here. Do not find element if the keyword part number current instance is not found. We'll add that condition. So do not find the part number character string if its related keyword is not found. And this is a best practice when you're pairing static text elements with character strings using relations like, like we've done here. So let's go ahead and test this and see how we're doing. We've got our first instance. I can double click and see each item and highlight it. Then I can hit my backspace key, go to my next instance, my next instance, my next instance, and finally this last green dot, as long as your final repeating group item is empty, um, there's really not a problem. So uh, we can disregard that and move forward to get the description data. So once again, I will simply add an element of the static text type, and I'll name this keyword description, and I'll add a static text element description, and I'll include that colon. I'll click Apply and OK. Let's match the document, and we can see already that there's a problem. We have four iterations, but only three green dots here. So let's take a look. We found keyword part number. We found the part number adjacent to that. But then we found the description way down here. So the same problem is occurring that we had with part number. The quality of this line is better than the first line, maybe slightly, but the software is preferring it. So once again, we need to go in here, and we could do a couple of different things. We could say nearest to the element, the header element, keyword form ID 1, that would work. But I've formulated a practice where I really have an what I consider an anchor element in my repeating group. That's the first element that I find in my repeating group, and I anchor everything to it. So I want to say nearest to the current instance keyword part number. So that's the practice that I'll use, and I'll go ahead and match the document. And this is looking good. This is looking great. The last repeating group is empty, so I don't have to worry about that. 
So I will add a character string element to grab the description. I'll call this description and use relations relative to the keyword description. I want to look to um, the right of the right with an offset of 10. And I want to look left of right with an offset of something healthy, maybe a thousand. So I'll enter in 1000, but it's moving in the wrong direction. So I need to make that a negative offset. There we go. And we will go above bottom with an offset of minus 10. That looks perfect for each iteration. And below top. And I can see I've got good target areas everywhere. I'll match my document and see what my results look like. Once again, I can see I've got problems right away. I've got too many instances here. So let's see what's going on. This looks good. Everything's green. Ah, so the description, it's, it's like an untamed horse. It just wants to jump the fence and go search in wherever it would search for if it's allowed to. So pardon the analogy, but uh, what I can do is the same trick. If keyword description is not found, then don't find description. So that's easy to add. If this is not found, then do not find the description and our results are very good. We've got everything that we need.